We are joined by A. Sunita, who is the member subcommittee of sexual harassment and gender discrimination, Telugu film and television industries. A very, very warm welcome to you, Sunita. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. You know, the thing is, like I said, it's spreading like a bushfire and I'm so happy. Time now for women like us to come and speak out. You know, first of all, Sri Reddy, a lot of others may not know who Sri Reddy is. But I remember the time when she was protesting in front of the institute. She stood there, people called her names and eventually she was banned. Sunita, even before we start on what exactly took place, don't you think that is the kind of reaction you get if you are a woman and you speak against powerful people? Spirit's protest was uh, one of the most courageous steps, uh, that one, one of the most courageous protests that mm. can happen. Uh, when, she, uh, when she protested uh, uh, along with her, a whole, uh, there was some support, there was definitely support uh, in the Telugu uh, public sphere. Actually, there was some poetry written about her and uh, um, all, all women's organizations, uh, um, uh, a whole lot of women's organizations actually stood with her, uh, stood with uh, after Sri Reddy, there was a, many dialogue artists came out in support and actually poured out their stories. For a month or so, Telugu television was full of their stories of harassment, exploitation, extreme exploitation, torture, and in the name of commitment contracts, in the name of uh, several other things. And uh, this is the, uh, this is in fact the context in which women's organizations intervened. I mean, in the sense that they right. actually filed a public interest litigation in the Telangana High Court in October 2018. And uh, in response to, and one of the demands, uh, one of our demands was the Telangana government constitute a high level committee. Right. Uh, to uh, investigate, to actually inquire. Into yeah, that's what I'm sorry to interject, uh, Sunita, but you know, the report was finalized uh, as I'm reading in several reports that the report was finalized and submitted on in June of 2022 to the gen then chief secretary. What happened after that? Uh, the report was uh, uh, submitted to the uh, then chief secretary, so Mr. Somesh Kumar. Yes. Uh, in a in a meeting uh, that that had every member of the uh, uh, committee, including several police commissioners, women and child welfare commissioners, and hmm. uh, several uh, uh, officers and all that, who were members of the committee. Actually, hmm. they were. Uh, so we uh, after that we have made uh, several attempts. Hmm. Uh, we have uh, actually written to. Uh, the chief next chief secretary uh, we uh, were called uh, and uh, we had written to the fdc chairperson we have uh, uh, given the report to the current minister of women and child welfare we have written uh, recently we have met the uh, women's commissioner women's uh, uh, women's commission chairperson and uh, 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 appraised her of the situation uh, but the report uh, for some reason is uh, for no reason or for some reason it has not been so, released yeah so because one of the ministers you know in the kcr garu government said that it's very vague do you mm -hmm. accept that what is vague i want you to See, explain uh, what report, is what does he mean by vague uh, that I think he should explain because yeah. the report, which, which is a report which has, which is based on, uh, which is based on probably he means that you know there are no names, or no sexual harassment cases, no no uh, criminal cases that need to be filed. But we were inquiring into the ecosystem, ecosystem that encourages that uh, inculcates this uh, kind of harassment and exploitation. And uh, one of the uh, one of the mandates of the committee is to look at uh, gender parity in the industry, in every craft, in every what happens behind the scenes. What uh, are there enough women editors, enough uh, cinematographers, enough uh, uh, writers, dialogue writers, uh, uh, dubbing artists, and what happens to what what is the entry processes? What is the uh, what are the kinds of uh, right. Uh, systems that are there, payment systems, wage payment systems, we examined all of this and this cannot be vague. 